In this new episode of the IoT Show, we have Roberto Lucchi from the Azure Maps team, who comes to show us the latest and greatest feature of Azure Maps that have just been announced around spatial operations. Uh, we'll see a great load of demos, including geofencing uh, that will be developed on the flight by Roberto, uh, and it will show us all the APIs as well. Hi everyone, this is the Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host. Today we have Roberto Lucchi for, uh, from the Azure Maps team. Roberto, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And so, um, before we jump into the topic, you're here to talk about a new set of features in Azure Maps that are just announced that are about uh, special, spatial, sorry. <laughs> there are spatial, special operations. <laughs> Um, so these are new spatial operations, uh, offer new APIs, and you're going to yeah. talk to us about them. But before we jump into that, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, hi. Hi, I'm Roberto Lucchi. I'm one of the senior manager, program manager in Azure Maps, and I focus on IoT and analytics. Great. So what is that thing that I cannot pronounce? The spatial the operation? Spatial, <laughs> spatial operation are uh, analytics is an important element of IoT projects, and with uh, special operations in Azure Maps, we are introducing uh, analytics for location information. So, special uh, in that uh, in that regard. So, it goes beyond just displaying dots on a map to indicate locations to people, right? That's correct. So, we those API take uh, location information and analyze events help analyze events that occur in space and time. Okay. So one of them I hear is called geofencing. Correct. So we have a, we have a, a number of uh, APIs. The most important one is geofencing, which is a great event-driven uh, uh, system notification that uh, allows you to know when uh, an object enters or leaves fences. Okay. So before jumping into how it works in Azure Maps with that uh, new set of APIs, how would someone do that today? Right? How do you implement geofencing in your application? Do you have libraries to use? Do you have like to use third-party services? How does it work? Yeah, this comes fully integrated with Azure Maps portfolio. So okay. you can use information that comes from other API like uh, boundaries or polygons that are derived out of road network or routes that uh, you know your fleet manager uh, is using for other purposes. So that's one of the so benefits. So that's like all it's in the Azure Map service, you get that for free. Yes. No need to bring any other third party solutions Correct. or libraries. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, so you, you're mentioning geofencing. What does that mean? Like, can you show us a little demo of that works? Yes. So I'd like you to, uh, to show you a couple of demos. One uh, here we are looking at is a supposed delivery um, uh, truck is, for example, delivering pizza to us in okay. our building, uh, and uh, we want to send a notification when the delivery is in close proximity with, with the destination. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, get ready, the pack is coming. So we can define fences that are uh, simple, like around a point, define a radius, but okay. we can also go beyond that and define polygons. So I can define a custom polygon. Okay that uh, defines the area where I want to trigger some notification. Mm -hmm. So if I switch to the animation in this case, the vehicle is moving and constantly using geofencing to evaluate the status. Okay. So as the uh, vehicle enters the polygon, the fence, it triggers a notification. In this case, it's visual, but you can imagine that that triggers uh, text messages or other forms of notification that the customer can use yeah. to rapidly get the package. And because Azure Maps is an Azure service, you can actually combine that with these other services, right? Correct. You can hook it up to yes. uh, Logic Apps and other uh, you know, services in the back end for you to actually have a stream or a workflow implemented pretty easily. Yes. So the maps you are seeing here on these applications as well as the routing come from the other APIs part of Azure Maps. Okay. So this is nice and neat. I love the way you just like click and de and define your uh, your polygon and so on. But how how do a developer like developers? They want to see APIs. They want to see how that works under the hoods, right? So yes. what's the what's going on under that? Yes. So there are a couple of things I would like to show you as a as a second part. One is that the fence can be even more complicated than just space. You can use, for example, imagine weather forecast. You could use the area where you know severe conditions are going to occur okay. and define a fence around those and notify drivers when only is appropriate. Okay. And that is for safety reason. Um, we also provide ways to interact with 
the geofencing events through event grid. So that's okay. an option we provide, and I'll show you how you can do that from a portal uh, subscription. Yeah. So real quick, so event grid, for those of you who don't know what that is, that's a pop sub infrastructure on yes. Azure. So you basically post messages and you have listeners that eventually you know, will receive these messages when they are uh, online or listening. Yes. Uh, and so that's really like ma at, at scale massive pop sub system on Azure. Right? Yeah, it's a great tool to combine third party system and services with the notification yep, that yep, Azure Maps yep. deliver. And uh, I'm looking at a Azure Maps resource in my portal. Mm -hmm. There is an event blade here. And through this event blade, you can create subscriptions to events. Okay. So a device enters a fence or leaves a fence. Okay. So in this case, I already defined it two, uh, one for entering and uh, one for leaving the, uh, the fence. Uh, those are hooked up with Logic App, which mm -hmm. is one of the options that you yeah. can use in yeah, Event yeah. Grid mm -hmm. to react to events. And this Logic App, I'll show you in, uh, in this tab, is a fairly simple uh, exemplification of what you could do. It receives the event yeah. triggered by Azure Maps Geofencing and then sends an email as an informational element to the operations. Okay. So behind the scenes, uh, the geofencing uh, is essentially a API call okay. uh, that um, uses, um, uh, in this case, POST binding. Uh, okay. We pass the uh, in the body defenses. In this case, you see the features is a GeoJSON feature okay. that defines basically actually two polygons. So you don't need you to restrict overlap. your yeah. overlap and different areas of interest for okay. the user. Um, and then uh, in the parameters, we have the ability to configure a couple of things. The most important one is, is async. Mm -hmm. If you set that parameter, it allows you to connect to event grid. So okay. systems that have subscribed to notification related to geofencing mm -hmm. can then react to this okay. event. So basically, it makes the Azure map a publisher on event grid. Basically. That's correct. Yeah. This flag in this call allows you to create that uh, notification okay. system. And then I also define what events I'm interested in, mm -hmm. enter and exit. Uh, and then, of course, I need to provide a current location. So if I invoke, I send the call. Um, this is the response. We'll see that. Uh, it gives us information, uh, and it also tells us that an event has been triggered. Okay. If the status doesn't change, this event won't be triggered. So if I invoke mm -hmm. again with the same conditions, with the same location, okay. the same API, you will see that it's not been uh, triggered. Okay. So now, through the integration with Event Grid and uh, Logic App, we should okay. have received an email. Okay. Let me check, and as you can see here, this is the message that notifies a user that an event um, uh, has occurred. Has occurred in, yeah. Everything APIs then into the services, event grids, logic apps, easy. Yes. Awesome. So geofencing is only one of these uh, spatial uh, operations APIs that have been added. Yes. Uh, before we actually point people to where to find more information, what are the other ones? Yeah, we have a, we have an, a number of other uh, API that are under spatial operations, one is uh, find closest point. Think about mm -hmm. device that move and you want to know which one are yep, closer yep. to you or pointing polygon to s verify whether a object is inside a specific area. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, buffer, which allows you to create a area of interest around other polygons. Okay. So if you have a route, for example, you could imagine to define a fence around the route so that mm -hmm. you can detect um, unexpected behavior, like the driver is moving away from the designated plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Roberto, thanks a lot for sharing all of that with, that, with us. The You're Azure welcome. Maps is hard at work at delivering all these new features that are based on customer scenarios, that, like the ones you just described. Uh, we have a blog post for you guys. We have documentation yeah. as well. We'll add all the links uh, in the description of this video. Thanks for watching the IT Show. Roberto, once again, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.